Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my delicious liver and onion style meatloaf with mashed potatoes and a beef and onion gravy from scratch. Now, this dish combines the traditional liver and onions with the meatloaf, and we combine those together with some homemade mashed potatoes, caramelized onions, and a savory beef onion gravy. This recipe you can get about eight to 10 servings because it is a meal course. It's comforting, filling, flavorful, and absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all that you'll need to make your homemade liver and onions meatloaf with mashed potatoes. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need two pounds of ground beef chuck, a half a pound of beef liver, all-purpose flour, plain breadcrumbs, bacon fat, salted butter, three large russet potatoes, two large eggs at room temperature, whole milk, better than bouillon beef base, better than bouillon sauteed onion base. Now, if you can't find the sauteed onion uh, base, you could just use the uh, regular beef base and you'll be good to go. And for your seasonings, you'll need some salt, black pepper, Tony Sachere's Creole Seasoning. If you don't have this, you can use the Zatarain's Creole Seasoning or the Slapping Mama Cajun Seasoning. You will also need some Chef Paul Padome's Poetry Magic. You're also going to need some granulated onion and granulated garlic. Two medium-sized yellow onions and some garlic. And for your tools, you will need a food processor, a fat separator, a mesh strainer, a potato peeler, a meat thermometer, and to bake your meatloaf, you will need a regular standard 9 by 13 inch glass or metal pan. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. Chop half of a yellow onion until minced. Slice the second onion into thick slices. Take your hand and separate the slices into rings. Here I have three cloves of garlic. I've cut them in half. Take a garlic press and press the garlic. And there we go. Okay, here I have a russet potato with a potato peeler. Peel all three large russet potatoes. Rinse each potato off with cold water. Cut each potato into quarter pieces. All right, let's get started with our stock for our meatloaf. In this large measuring cup, I've added two third cup of hot water, add one fourth teaspoon of better than bouillon beef base, and a half a teaspoon of the better than bouillon onion base. If you're using just only beef base, you're only going to add a half a teaspoon of that in there. Stir all your ingredients together with a whisk until the onion and the beef base has dissolved into the water. All right, let's get started with making our stock for our gravy. In this medium sized bowl, I've added five cups of hot water, add one teaspoon of the better than bouillon beef base, and one teaspoon of the better than bouillon onion base. If you're using all beef base, you're going to add two teaspoons of that in there. Stir all your ingredients together with a whisk until that onion and beef base has dissolved into the water. Preach your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started with searing our liver in this large saucepan. I let it get hot for about one to two minutes. Add one teaspoon of bacon fat or butter. I'm going to spread that around. Let the fat melt. Add a half a pound, that's two liver slices, into the saucepan. Lightly sprinkle just a little bit of salt, black pepper, and Tony Sachere's Creole seasoning. Let this sear for three minutes on each side. All right, it's been about six minutes now. Now you're going to go ahead and turn your fire off. Add two-third cup of your beef and onion stock for your meatloaf right on in there. We're basically deglazing the pan. 
I'm going to give this a quick stir. Let this soak for about 10 to 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. Okay, let's puree our liver. So in this large food processor, you're going to add your liver pieces along with the pan juices and the beef and onion stock into the food processor. Blend this for 30 seconds. All right, that looks good. All right, let's assemble our meatloaf. So in this large bowl, add two pounds of your ground beef chuck. Now you wanna make sure before you add it in there, you wanna make sure you let the ground beef sit out on your counter for about one to two hours to let it come to temperature so that way it's not too cold when you mix all the other ingredients in there. Next, add one and one fourth cups of chopped yellow onion, one tablespoon of pressed garlic, beat two large eggs at room temperature with a fork, add that in there. Now let's add some seasoning. Add one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, one fourth teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of Chef Paul Perdome's Porcher Magic, one third cup of plain breadcrumbs, and your pureed liver. Right on in there. Take your hands and mix all of these seasonings, the breadcrumbs, the eggs, and the pureed liver into the ground beef. Make sure that you mix this really well. All right, that looks good. While the ground beef mixture is in the large bowl, you're going to form the meatloaf into a nine inch long by five inch wide rectangle. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 325 degrees. Okay, here we have our regular standard nine by 13 inch glass pan. Add your meatloaf right on in there. Take your hands and shape up the meatloaf. Make sure it looks good. Add two and one half cups of the beef onion base for the gravy. You're gonna still have some left over. Now it is ready to be baked. Place this into a preheated 325 degree oven on the middle rack. Bake this for one hour and 10 minutes. All right, it's been about one hour and 10 minutes now for our meatloaf. Let's remove this out of the oven. Let this cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. I've inserted a meat thermometer in the meatloaf and the temperature should read 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Here I have two spatulas. Carefully remove the meatloaf from the baking pan and place it into a separate pan. Cover the meatloaf with aluminum foil to keep it hot. Here I have a fat separator. Place a mesh strainer on top of the fat separator. Pour the pan juices from the meatloaf into the fat separator. Stir the contents in the mesh strainer with a spatula and press the contents down into the mesh strainer to allow the pan drippings to drain into the fat separator. Once done, you should have two and one fourth cups of your beef onion base stock for the gravy. And on top of that, you should have one cup of fat. All right, let's get started with separating the fat from the stock. Pour the stock into the measuring cup. Make sure you do this without adding the fat into the measuring cup. As you can see, I, I, I accidentally added a little bit of the fat in the measuring cup, but that's okay. <laughs> now in that measuring cup, you should have two and one fourth cups of the beef and onion stock. All right, here we have our beef and onion stock for our gravy. We use some of this to cook the meatloaf in. And all we're doing now is taking that two and one fourth cups that was in the measuring cup that we separated from the fat. And we're gonna pour that right back into the same bowl. 
give that a quick stir. Once done, you should have four and three fourth cups of the beef and onion stock left over. Preach your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started with making our beef and onion gravy. So in this large saucepan, I let it get hot for about one to two minutes. Add one fourth cup of the rendered fat drippings from our meatloaf. Let this get hot for about 30 seconds to one minute. Add one fourth cup of all purpose flour. Take a wooden spatula and stir this continuously for about five to six minutes or until the roux reaches a brown color like how you see here. I had a little bit of chopped yellow onion left over. That's about a tablespoon or two. I'm just going to add that in there. Give that a quick stir. I'm going to add about two teaspoons of the pressed garlic, followed by your four and three fourth cups of your beef and onion sock. Now let's add some seasoning. We're only going to add a very small amount in here. Add one eighth of a teaspoon of salt, one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, one eighth of a teaspoon of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, and one eighth of a teaspoon of Chef Paul Prudhomme's Poultry Magic. Stir all your ingredients together. Cover with a lid. Let this simmer for 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, we're now at the 25 minute mark. Remove the meatloaf out of the aluminum foil and add that into the saucepan. Take a spoon and just baste the meatloaf with the gravy. Cover the saucepan with a lid. Let this simmer for five minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes now. And after 30 minutes total cooking time, our beef and onion gravy and meatloaf are now done. Now you're going to go ahead and turn your fire off. Let this cool for 30 minutes to one hour before serving. For best results, serve this the very next day so that way the flavors can settle and increase overnight. Preheat your fire to medium heat. Okay, let's get started with making our caramelized onions. In this large saucepan, I let it get hot for about one to two minutes. Add one tablespoon of salted butter. I'm gonna spread that around. And I'm going to let that melt. Add one teaspoon of the fat from the pan drippings from the meatloaf. Add your onion ring pieces right on in there. Give this a quick stir. Let this saute for eight minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, it's been about eight minutes now. And as you can see, our onions are nice and caramelized. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now you're gonna go ahead and turn your fire off. You're gonna take your caramelized onions and place them onto a serving plate. And set that on the side to cool. Preheat your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started with making our mashed potatoes. In this large pot, add two quarts of water. And to that, I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt. Give this a quick stir. Let this come up to a simmer. Add your potato cubes right on in there. Give this a quick stir. Cover this with a lid. You can also tilt the lid to let some of the steam escape. Let this simmer for 15 minutes. All right, it's been about 15 minutes now. Now how to tell if the potato cubes are done, you can insert a fork into each potato cube really easily. They are done. Now you're gonna go ahead and turn your fire off. Add your potato cubes into a mesh strainer. Be very careful as this is very hot. Let this cool for 12 minutes. I've placed my potato cubes into a large bowl. Mash the potato cubes with a potato masher. Make sure that you mash the potato cubes really well. Next, I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to mash the potatoes even more to make them more smooth. All right, that looks good. 
Preach your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started with assembling our mashed potatoes. So in this large pot, add four tablespoons of salted butter right on in there. Let's spread that around and let the butter melt. Add one and one fourth cups of whole milk. Let's add some seasoning. Add one fourth to a half a teaspoon of salt, one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, one fourth teaspoon of granulated onion, and one fourth teaspoon of granulated garlic. Stir all your ingredients together until combined. Let this come up to a slight simmer. Okay, our mixture is at a slight simmer now. Now you're gonna go ahead and turn your fire off. Add your mashed potatoes right on in there. Take a sturdy wooden spoon and stir this really well until the mixture is creamy and smooth. And from there, our mashed potatoes is done. Let this cool for about five to 10 minutes before serving. And for best results, you can serve this the very next day so that where the flavors can settle and increase overnight. And from there, our meal is complete. Here is the final presentation. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, liver and onions meatloaf with mashed potatoes made from scratch by a New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. I have an official website for all of my recipes, including this one. Go to www.charliecookandrews.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Can we? Ah, now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Oh man, excited about this one. Y'all, the flavor profile of this is outstanding. I put my whole foot in this one. I mean, it meatloaf is nice, tender, and juicy with that caramelized onions and that beef and onion gravy. Y'all, when I tell y'all this, that it's so good. And then you have the mashed potatoes. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I'm telling you, absolutely delicious. And the, and the liver infused in that meatloaf, it has a nice liver flavor too as well. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. All you got to do, if you want to have the same experience, like just like how I had, all you got to do is try the recipe. That's it. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, have a good one. Peace.